Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make this confetti particle effect. So let's get started. First off you want to go to your hierarchy, right click and create a new effect particle system. You can call that whatever you want. You can see here the default is quite big so we are going to change the start size but first of all I'm just going to rotate it to our desired rotation. So I'm just going to rotate it slightly this way and also move it over to the left because that's how I want it to be firing. Then we're going to change the start size. So I'm also going to tick 3D start size and then random between two constants. And I want it to go from a rectangle to a square. So I'm going to type in 0.1 for the X and you can see they're already getting thinner. And then for the other X that it goes in between, I'm going to type in 0.3 and then the Y for the first one, 0.5 and then the Y for the second 1.1. Z doesn't matter because we're only working in 2D. And already the this is looking a bit more like confetti to me. We're now gonna make the start rotation random too. So we're gonna go random between two constants again. I'm gonna go from zero to 180. And here there you can see they're rotated randomly. We also wanna make them a random color. So we're gonna go to this start color here and we're gonna click random color. And then we're going to open this up. That will open up this window here. We're going to change the mode to fixed. We're going to click on the first tag here on the bottom left. And we're going to change that to red. And then we're going to drag this out. The amount of the bar this fills up just uh, decides how many of them will be this color. So you can see here most are red, some are white. Whereas if I drag it down here, most are white and some are red. Uh, but we're going to leave it about there because we're going to add another one. I'm going to change this to green. We're going to add another one. I'm going to change that to yellow. Add another one. We'll make this a pink. And then the last one here, we're going to make blue. So here you can see they're all now different colors. And if you want, you can change it a bit. If you want more pinks or whatever you want, you can change these to whatever you want. I'm going to close that down. And then we're going to change the gravity source to 2D physics. And we're going to change the gravity modifier to one. So now you can see they're kind of falling down. They're being affected by gravity. We're going to change the emission because we want it to be a burst. So we're actually going to change rate over time to zero. So they will disappear for now. But then we're going to add a burst and we're going to add about 60. So in the burst, 60 particles will come, uh, will turn up. So um, I'm just going to change the duration to one so we can see the bursts a little quicker, but I will change that back to five before we finish. So yeah, you can see the burst there. They are all coming up in one clump. So we're actually going to change the start speed. We're going to make that random. So the start speed here, we're going to do random between two constants. And we're going to go from about six to 15. So there you can see already this is looking like we want it. A couple more things we're going to do is we're going to limit the velocity over lifetime and then we're going to change this to a graph. So curve and then we'll click on the curve and down here we can click a curve that goes downwards because we want the velocity to be slower as they get to the end of their life. And we're going to do the same with size. So size over lifetime, click that, click that. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. The only other thing I'm going to change is the shape. So here, shape, at the moment it's a cone with a quite a thick radius. So I'm going to make that radius smaller. I'm actually just going to go about 0 0.1. Uh, I'm going to leave the angle the same, but now the, they're being thrown out from a point. So if I bring this point down here, that's looking pretty good. I think all I need to do now is duplicate this object. So I'm going to control C, control V to duplicate it. This other one, I'm going to move over to the other side and I'm going to change the rotation. And then I'm just going to make both of them a duration of five and stop the looping because we don't want them to loop. We just want them to play once. And here's our particle effect finished. So I hope that helped. Follow me for more and uh, like and subscribe. Cheers. See you later.